Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Let me start this scientific part with raising a question. Would commercial of the shelf software applications still be efficient? And here I'm talking about GIS, by the way. That's a big, that's a big question I test to start with. But in reality, I need to define what are actually of the shelf, of the shelf software applications, of the shelf commercial applications. It's simply, it's about what we actually buy when we need a system development or need system to meet our needs. It's what we have or what we actually find in the market, simply. And this actually by average computer users, which means that at the indiv individual level, that's fine. That's even exceeding our needs. But when it comes to business, when it comes to real business, innovation, this actually has some limitations. And here, actually, we will reach something, what we call it, one size fits all. And to tell you the truth, I'm not so much, you know, inclined to just adhere to one size fits all. It's not my nature. So, I'm gonna just make it easy by just going to an example, a story, little one. It's about my soup. We at home agreed, my family, not to add any salt to our dishes anymore. Because to tell you the truth, we don't want a one size fits all. It's leave it there, and anyone who wanna add salt can go ahead and add whatever he wants. And I'm trying to just educate my kids, my little daughters, you know, just to make it reasonable, you know. So one day I went back home and I was hungry actually. And I started to have my soup. It was salty. It was. We were sure that we didn't add salt to it. But it was salty. I didn't, I couldn't eat it. Why? I will leave this question to a later stage. We're going to answer it together. But maybe some of you have already started figuring out what we were talking about. So, one size fits all again. And what I have, what, what I have to do with it. So, I'm going to raise a question to you. Backing to the, what you have actually in your daily life. You know, software applications. And here we're talking about word, pro word processing. Spreadsheets. Presentations. Databases. Stuff like that and ask you one question. How much actually you are using when you're just doing that? I mean, when you use these applications, how much do you think you are using of the, these applications' abilities? Some of you may answer 40%, 75%, 60%, 40%, 75%, but we are not actually fully utilizing what we have. And we are buying for the full package, remember? When you just buy something like an office suit, with no offense for sure, we are buying for the full package, but in reality, we are not using it fully. So, let's go to that part. Here comes the reason. The reason is commercial off-the-shelf systems are either too complex or too generic. So, you will not be able to, to utilize it, and one size fits all will not suit business. Those business people who want to innovate, who have innovation in their business. And to tell you the truth, when it comes to our time here, common practices is not enough. We're talking about something beyond that. So let me give an example now, and it's not about the soup. The soup will answer it later. It's this one. When I graduated from civil engineering, I start, you know, develop, developing my own tools just to facilitate my daily life. So as structural engineers, we have what we call beam design. So this is like a simple application for designing a beam. But here, at the very beginning, you're gonna see this, and you're gonna just think that this is like developed using some software or something. Actually, it's an Excel, Microsoft Excel chart. But I have been tailoring it, it has been tailored to serve my needs. It has been customized to serve my needs. Because simply, I need something useful, easy to go for. It's editable, 
you know? You can change the dimension and you can have results. For you who may think that this is not Excel, this is Excel, let's click it and see it. Now we are in Excel. Okay, let's go back again and move forward. So again, the systems, the commercial of the, of the shell systems are so diverse to cover common practices, okay, and needs. Simply the one size fits all. This is another example about how actually we're trying, I was trying to develop what we, what we're gonna make my life easier as structure engineer. And this is even more. It's about designing, you know, the moment and shear. The whole thing is about we are talking about customizing our needs. Now, I decided to take this to a new level. And if we go back to the, to, to the soup I had and why, actually, where did the salt come from? Unfortunately, the salt come from, from our tap water. It's the water we use at home. Unfortunately, it was there. It was so much salty that make that dish, you cannot eat it. This is the reality of Gaza. Any of you have already experienced that if you're living in Gaza for one time, for two times, for three times. It's our water, and this is unfortunate. But we will not be stopping there. So remember GIS, Geographic Information System. It's very advanced science. It's very interesting. And we will all aim to just trying to excel in it. And the simplest definition that I, wouldn't, I don't want to just get you into it is geographic information is about computer systems capturing, storing data. What makes me interested, what actually grabbed my attention in that definition, definition is displaying data related to position on Earth. Imagine that you can see your information, your daily information, tabulated one, actually, in, in a way when you see the position on Earth, your position on maps with that information. Would that improve your decision-making process? Absolutely, yes. So what did I do? Simply, I went to developing a customized GIS application, the same way I did with structural design systems. This has been my, my master thesis, and I have been with my, my supervisors, doc, supervising doctors, Dr. Fahad Rabah and Dr. Saeed Rabayan, developing and having a paper published in a, in a scientific paper, the journal, the journal Software Engineering, the Journal of Software Engineering and Applications, and it has been, you know, reasonably downloaded and viewed because the whole world actually is looking at customizing solutions. At customizing solutions, when it comes to GIS, it's even more interesting to the, to the, to the world. Why did I go to that? Because I'm talking about the context of Gaza. The context of Gaza will have sophisticated, this, the, the GIS, the geographic information system applications are so much sophisticated, require resources, financial resources, infrastructure, updates, require training. If you wanna work in GIS, you need to have, to have comprehensive training heavy one, and the aim of my product is was in simplifying this to our water resource managers, to allow larger number for them to just use it, to allow managing what we have in terms of water, because salty water is in our taps these days. Next time, we will not be able to use it even for our domestic use. Today, we are buying water for, to, for drinking purpose. Tomorrow, we're gonna buy, buy water for our domestic purpose, which means everything in life when you use water. Back to business, and this is, has been quoted, you know, that organizations that implement, implement a commercial of the shelf systems often need to change their processes to fit the system. Can you believe that? I need to change the processes of my business, of my organizations to fit the system, rather than just trying to customize the system to fit my processes. So, simply, the program had, th th is doing many functions, but I'm not just gonna focus on all of them, rather than just the ones that we can understand each other. 
Supermarket, if I want to just have a project, initial project of opening a supermarket in an area. So I will need the information. If I have it tabulated, that's fine, that's great. But what about having it actually having the, the dimension of location? So within a diameter of 2.25 kilometers, how many supermarkets are there? Bigger and bigger. This is what we call buffering. So it's about buffering system that you just come in up in a larger circle. Here is the application, and the application provides that information easily. And by the way, this application is being tailored for Gaza, customized application, GIS application only for Gaza because it has the maps and stuff for Gaza. It can be customized for other reasons, but it's being developed for Gaza. So if we just can have a look on this application and try to see what we call about buffering, we can see this buffering. It's even dynamic, you know. This is like many functions that our water, water resource engineers needs to have in their hands. You are trying to provide information. This screen is providing like four or, th or five times, four or five information types in one time. Okay, this is the buffering. If we can move forward. It's about the second type of information that we need is about just viewing multiple information at one time. Our commercial of the shelf products provide you with that, yes, okay, but it's complicated and it's not easy as it can be done and customized for our own use. So I want to see multiple informations in one time. It's the land use, it's municipalities, it's your soil types for Gaza. So finally, our, burn, our water in Gaza is burning out. This is a fact. The quality of our water is deteriorating by time. Simply, we have the Gaza aquifer. It's being confined by the western side, by the seawater. But the sea, which has started to intrude, in, intrude into, our, into our aquifer. From the eastern side, we are a downstream for that aquifer. We have waste. We have solid waste, we have sewerage, we have fertilizers, excessive fertilizers used in our agricultural activities. And all of that is being percolating to our underground aquifer, resulting in what we drink actually is full of chloride and nitrate, exceeding the limits of international standards, resulting in many diseases, resulting in, in, in decrease in the oxygen. And this, if you're not affecting the elderly, it's affecting our babies, resulting in blue syndrome baby, baby blue syndrome. And eventually, it's going to result in death. Finally, I'm sure that this is like a little contribution to Gaza. And it's, it's working, alhamdulillah. And I'm sure that with our efforts, with your efforts, you are working in Gaza, and you are trying to improve Gaza. The integrated efforts together will allow us answering that little girl from that report from the UN, system, from the UN in 2012, asking one question, is, is Gaza going to be a livable place in 2020? Let's hope that it, Gaza will be a livable place in 2020, inshallah. Thank you.